Hey guys, welcome to Dallas Arcade. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself and what Dallas Arcade has in store for you. So I'm a content creator as well as a social media manager and a software developer, specifically in the mobile app realm. And what I'd like to do today is tell you a little bit about what Dallas Arcade is and what we do here as a community. So for those of you that are impatient and have other things to do, like most of us do, um, let me just run down some things. I have a list I'd like to go over, give you an idea of what uh, Dallas Arcade does and the intention uh, for what the idea is, basically. So there is there are several problems going on um, globally, but there are more places than others. Some places are more affected than than others. So there's an energy crisis. Let's just say it straight out. Uh, this energy crisis is negatively impacting businesses and communities. The pricing of it, the time lost, the productivity lost, the um, it impedes um, a lot of things that the modern societies need in order to uh, thrive, in order to economically build. So with that in mind, you know, um, specifically as it relates to the youth, there's a high unemployment. Um, if we're talking about South Africa in particular, load shedding has cut into the productivity of what the youth can do. And this is in light of all the opportunities that are given to our kids every day with technology, um, social media, the internet. There's a lot of things that are could allow for economic development um, and improving education. However, uh, the lack of energy or the inconsistency in energy or the lack of avail uh, availability or access to it impedes everything across the board. So rather than, um, you know, focusing on, you know, trying to address energy directly, Dallas Arcade has some things in mind. In addition, laptops are expensive. If, if we're just talking about uh, producers and content creators and video editors, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to call it. You're talking about a very expensive upfront cost for the laptop. And then you have to have, you know, it's not energy efficient. Laptop battery will what get you what three hours, maybe six or eight. If you're, you know, if you can afford the brand new technology from Apple or, or, or other companies. So there are a lot of impediments to the progress for economic development. Dallas Arcade, uh, hopes to address uh, or seeks to address all of these things. So again, solution number one, you know, let's be more energy efficient. Let's power our instruments through the USB batteries and the various technologies that allow us to be more mobile. We don't need to be beholden to the grid at all times. Let's be more, well, let's be portable with it, you know, and the modern technologies allow us to do that. Solution number two, you know, let's mitigate load shedding. Let's just sidestep it all together. How? By allowing the youth to use their creativity actively during the times when the energy is out. So if you're on battery powered instruments, if you're not plugged into the grid, you can still create, you know, um, you can still play the guitar. You can still, you know, make your beats. You can still sing your songs, record them, sketch them out, plot them out you know, prepare your DJ sets, whatever you need to do, because you already have the energy. You know, you saved up and you just spread it out. You know, you spend it as you go and, you know, rinse and repeat. So that's it. We want to put uh, the youth to work right away uh, during times when the energy is down. So solution number three. Yeah, you, you know, you want to give the youth jobs, right? you know, um, and, and export things that are immediately available without a lot of overhead, you know, get it out there to the world and build the economy uh, in the easiest roadblock free way there uh, there is available. And rather than, you know, going right to manufacturing or things that cost uh, a lot to get into, I argue, why not just use your cell phones? You know, um, why not just export the the creator aspect of what 
countries like South Africa have to offer, communities like Soweto and Tembisa and Alexandra, right? Um, and that there's a, a plethora of other places I could name. So the, the, idea, the idea being, don't let load shedding get in the way, okay? Um, so again, uh, another solution that, that Dallas Arcade is, is seeking to address is, you know, we want to reduce the upfront costs. We want to do, reduce the reoccurring costs. We want to reduce the dependence on things like your computer or cell phone, typically items that you would need to be technologically productive when there's no energy to be had or very little energy to be had. So that's what Dallas Arcade is in the TLDR version um, for, for those of us less inclined to pay attention to long form videos and stuff like I've been guilty to of in the past. So what does Dallas mean, right? D-A-W. A da is, uh, or, or rather, b- b- let me start with this. Prior to music being produced on laptops and computers, desktop computers, there was a time when it was everything was analog, meaning you had to have a mixing board, you had to have tape recorders and everything set up and the big grand expenses. And all of that was recorded on all of this handmade, you know, hand wired, you know, wires and and everything, not really microchip based technology, tubes and stuff. And that's how music was made for uh, or for a long time. That's how news networks and everything else was made. Content was created until the advent of the computer. When somebody said, hey, we can do this on a computer and save the cost and save time and everything like that. So you came up with, they, they eventually developed a DAW, digital audio workstation, right? And rather than the traditional mixer boards or sound desks and uh, tape machines and these things and reels. So a digital audio workstation allowed people to be uh, by themselves and produce everything they needed to from recording vocals to producing tracks to arranging and composing all on the convenience of a laptop and it revolutionized the revolutionized the the music industry as a whole and it allowed it democratized the access to making music which was great fast forward to i don't know 2010 11 12 whatever whatever um modern times basically now you have DAW less and the push for DAW less means, hey, you know what? We work on our computers all the time. That's all we do is work on computers. Uh, we, 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 you know, it, it's, it's hard on the eyes. You know, for some of us, computers are expensive. You know, um, you get distracted. It's not the most comfortable or most inspiring way to make music or, you know, entertaining content. So the idea behind Dallas is let's minimize the use of computers. And this is how it uh, started. Let's minimize the use of computers and DAWs and get back to hands-on instruments. How, you know, the, you know, our, our fathers and our mothers and used to make on guitars and drums and these things, except let's use the, uh, the access that we've built the, through the technology of, you know, drum machines, samplers, sequencers, synthesizers, right? MIDI, you can use these things, save energy, get away from the computers and make your content and then take it into a doll later, send it off to somebody, uh, you know, when the electricity comes back on and send them a quick email with the file and let them finish it off in a doll. There's no reason for you to incur the energy expense, the financial um, expense of, of uh, overhead cost of getting into a DAW when you don't actually need a DAW to be creative. So I have an example here with me of a pocket operator, right? It's the size of a calculator and it's a complete sequencer sampler sampler all in one. This is what Dallas is. I have several examples. I have the NTS-1. It's a synthesizer and effects box and it sounds wonderful and it's very inexpensive. I also have a recorder, Tascam DR40X. It's could use for, you know, recording your guitars. There's, there's, it has all sorts of stuff I'll get into, but there's a lot of features. 
you can have a complete studio right here. Another example. 1010 Music Lemon Drop, a wonderful synthesizer, granular synthesizer, an effects box, compressor, reverb. These sort of technologies sip energy, right? And, you know, just to finish it off, for those of us that are less inclined to stay on key, I have a metronome and tuner that I use for my vocals. You're not going to hear me singing anytime soon, put it that way. But, you know, these things are powered by batteries that are more accessible um, than the grid energy would allow for. And in the case of the pocket operator, on standby, these batteries, AAA batteries, will last a year or more. And when you're using it actively and regularly, it'll last a month to, to 90 days, you know, 30 to 90 days. That's amazing, you know, battery uh, technology. That's amazing energy efficiency for basically a, you know, 75% of what you would need to get an idea down. Um, and in some cases, there are some producers that are able to do the complete production on these items. And this is what today's technology allows, sipping the energy, getting the creative juices flowing, not getting in the way, not making excuses. And that's what Dallas Arcade hopes to be. That's what we wanna do is we wanna create a community of creatives that use the modern technologies, get away from the computers and encourage each other to uh, not make excuses for making music. Pushing ahead, because there's a lot more time we can get into this, these details about what these instruments are and these things like that. So we talked about what Dallas means. So again, you know, currently Dallas Arcade is in pre-launch mode. You know, there's no investment in there or anything required at this point. We want to, um, right now we're focused on uh, preparing for a physical location, although that does not, is not required to launch. We want to get everything ready for the youth um, as soon as possible. And that means, you know, getting the back end done, um, you know, because there's going to be some technological aspects to this. Not to get into the weeds, what we want you to do is go ahead and like and subscribe the video. We want you to go over to the news, uh, sign up for the newsletter. Uh, I'll put the link below the video. You can unsubscribe at any time. We're not going to, you know, uh, give your information away or anything like that. The idea is we need people. We need to be able to show people that this is, people are that the kids are interested, uh, not just kids. The creatives are interested, that the people want to make money, be productive and use technology. Don't, don't wait for solutions to come uh, for the energy grid. In fact, this the, the reduction on the, the dependence on a consistent grid helps your energy providers to solve the problem. This is piercing. This is the little tip of the spear of how we as a community can address things and not wait for political solutions, not wait for um, corporate solutions, not wait for, you know, um, the church to do things, uh, these things that we typically rely on. How about we just do it? That's my argument. That's what Dallas Arcade is. So again, this project is not for everyone. Let me make that clear. This is for early adopters. This is for young creatives, the producers, the podcasters, the journalists, the vocalists. This is for the people that, that see the beginning of something. This is for the people that recognized TikTok before it was TikTok. This is for the people that understood the power of social media before it became social media. This is for the people that are early adopters, okay? They, they recognize the now opportunity. Wait, you know, there is a problem with energy. I'm bored as hell waiting for the energy to come back on after a load shedding period, right? Um, and I am creative and there is a market out there. And to be honest with you, ah, you know, I'm a piano is, hasn't even begun to touch the world. So for producers that are, you know, and, and the creatives out there and the journalists out there the, the, that recognize that they have something to contribute, that's what Dallas Arcade is. All right. So again, in summary, and I get into this in other videos, Uhuru, Ubuntu, Umoja. Okay. We want you to reclaim your time and energy. And that's Dallas Arcade. 
hopefully you can see the potential of what we're trying to do. And again, um, thank you for listening. My name is Jonathan and I am a content creator and the inspiration uh, for what Dallas Arcade hopes to be. Hopefully you join me on my journey. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.